Hello all, welcome to rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about the latest buzzword in Oracle Fusion ERP, the AI Agent Studio. So let's have an overview of uh, Agent Studio. How do we access, what are the roles required? How does it look like, right? Let's understand that. So before understanding AI Agent Studio, let us have some information on the other buzzwords which already have been there in the market, but let us get some clarity. The first thing, we know is like uh, words we have been hearing from a long time, maybe a five, six years or five to 10 years, I can say. The first one, which we have an automated kind of, uh, what you call a response, a query based mechanism in most of the websites was, it was a, just a chatbot. It's kind of a question and answering application where you just provide question, you should be able to get an answer. That was, it was defined. And even the name, uh, the board came from, you know, like uh, the real robot, right? So generally with the software terminology, so that, robot became bot chatbot and in the chatbot it's not very intelligent it's like more of a question and answer and it's like a predefined question and answers were there we just select a question and you should be able to get an answer that's was it was like that but coming to the digital assistant more advanced version of a chatbot where it has a multi-skilled context aware like a, it can you know like a, it can perform multiple applications like a multiple functionalities i mean to say and uh, some, like some of the examples which we have been using is like uh, Oracle Digital Ass Assistant or Siri or Alexa. Now, coming to the AI agent, which is more advanced than Digital Assistant. So now in the AI agent, so what exactly it has is it can learn and it can perform large number of functionalities which a human can do it. It's like, you know, approving a payroll, approving your pay slip, I mean to say, or you can submit it. You can create a requisition based on your input. It can intelligently understand. It can search a document based on your input. It can provide an email functionality based on your input. So a large number of things can happen in the AI agent. It's like intelligent agent or intelligent assistant, which can perform large number of tasks, which human can do it, right? Now that is what an AI agent is all about. But coming to the fusion application, what exactly it is and what are the things we have to know it? So the thing is, it is we have a agent studio. It is one of the software product within the fusion ERP, which is a low code a development platform for the purpose of designing AI agents in the Fusion ERP. And here, if you observe the features of it, no extra cost required, it is customizable. You already have a predefined large number of agents in every module in the Fusion ERP. And the development environment is low code and it involves very, very, very minimal code. I can say it's purely no code and full control. You can have your own control and you know, like a larger number of agents can be collaborated to perform the task in a very easier manner. Now, what does it provide? It allows us to create and configure. So you can create a new agent and you can also configure the existing agent. Nothing but you can use a standard agent and you can modify according to your requirement. You validate what you have developed and you deploy it. And it also has an integration of the different LLMs. As of now, it has the inbuilt default one, but later on it will support larger number of LLMs which are there in the market. Now, how do we access it? So to access it, you have to click on tools and agent studio, but in the next coming slide, we'll be giving you more overview. So once you see this particular agent studio, right, it will be available based on the role. You click on tools and click on AI agent studio. So this is a development platform for the design development as well as debug. Agent Studio here, if you observe the large number of contents are there in this one. The first one is Agent Studio, then Agent Teams, Agents, Tools, Topics, Deep Links, and Business Object. So we'll understand this terminology one by one. So the first thing you can observe here, Agent Studio, it is a development environment where we can design our agents. We can design, configure, test, as well as deploy it. Now, what is this family and product? Family is a top level module, like a finance, HCM, procurement. And the product is a sub module within that particular family. And template is nothing but, it's a, like, a, as I said to you earlier, so Oracle provides larger number of sample agents, which are workable agents, and you can try to use them and you can modify according to your requirement. So it's like a template, like when we create a project in the procurement, right? It provides a template project. You can copy it, customize it, and do it. Similarly, template is also same thing. It provides a workable uh, agent. You can copy it and you can rename it and modify it. And now coming to the agent. So it's a workable component of the agent. Like agent is kind of a, a application where you can perform a specific functionality. It's like uh, submitting a leave or generating a PO or getting a requisition 
approving a requisition kind of thing. Now coming to the agent teams, agent teams is a top level. It's like a parent for all the agents where it collaborates with a different individual agents to perform your functionality. So under the agent teams, you have an agent. Okay, agent teams is a collaboration of all the agents to perform the the task. It's a group of agents that collaborate to handle complex tasks. It's a multi steps. It will have. It can also have multiple agents, and you know, like based on the requirement. Let us say you have designed your uh, like a uh, agent team, and in that agent team, you have one agent for the purpose of procurement, another agent for HCM, another agent for supply chain. So you can design your agent team such a way that based on your input, it can navigate or it can call an agent from the HR department or a the finance department or supply chain department like that and it has a uh, tools where it has a set of built-in functionalities like uh, selecting your particular llm and it has calculator email and different reasoning models to enhance your agent intelligence now topics it's like the nothing but based on to understand the context of the user input right it has this particular functionality now deep links it's more about let us say you you want to re, you want to view the requisition page you just provide your requisition number you want to re, if you want to navigate to that requisition you can just mention that and you can provide link to direct view edit link to your requisition and you can navigate to that it's like a direct link to your fusion application screen now coming to the business object it's nothing but the data structure or a data model of your particular component let us say you want to get your particular data of a specific uh, person details, right? Or maybe a payroll information or maybe purchase order details, right? Let us say I want to get a purchase order details for a specific PO. So you need to configure the appropriate web service or a business object and get the, get the information. So that is based on the business object. So these are the key terminologies of the agent studio in the Fusion ERP. So to have to use this Fusion ERP, what are the prerequisites we have it? The first thing is it works from the Fusion ERP version 25C. You may need to have the specific roles, not all roles, but these are a couple of roles which are related to the agent studio. And also one more thing is this works in the only Redwood UI enabled, not in the classic version. Okay. Now, now here, like we have been discussing agent studio, but this agent studio, it is for the developer or the, the team who designs agents. It's not for the end user. Okay, so for the admin, I can say it's like admin rather than uh, functional or technical. I'll say that the admin who designs the agents, right? So for them to access the agent studio, they have to navigate to tools and they click on agent studio. And in the agent studio, they will have a functionality to design, configure, test and deploy. Now, for, from the end user perspective, let us say you are a HRMS user or end HRMS application user or a procurement user, how do you navigate it, right? So for them, the navigation for them is you can click on me and then click on ai chat this is a place where you can navigate your appropriate agents which are assigned to for your user and you can run it and the other navigation we have is like a, within the fusion screen also you have it if you observe for the self-service procurement now within my screen i have an option called ask oracle right this is one of the agent which is assigned to this particular page. So this assignment happens based on the guided journey functionality. So in this one, when you click on Ask Oracle, it will automatically invoke the relevant agent based on the screen which you are in, right? So these are three ways where you can access the agents, right? The one is from the tools, other one is me, other one is a guided journey, right? Now, what we do is we'll just try to navigate our Fusion application to understand how does it look like, right? So I'm in the Fusion ERP, and maybe I can navigate back again. So I'll just click on home screen and click on tools. And here you just click on AI Agent Studio. In the AI Agent Studio, so the first tab, it shows a list of agents, standard agents, which are already available for your user account or based on the assignment, it will be available, but it shows a list of agents here. You can search based on the family or a product. So now when I say family, it's like a, the module. HCM or a couple of modules. And within the product, you can say the absence, payroll, the other things like now let us say absences, benefits, procurement, like this, you can select it. So this agent studio lists down the list of agents which are available, right? Now, coming to the agent teams. So now for this user, it shows a list of the agents which are available for them to run it, right? Now I'll just select one of the agent. I'll just select this particular procurement policy advisor. So here to run it, right, you click on edit. And yeah, it's okay for now, just click on okay. Now this opens our agent team and you have an option called run. 
here, nothing but debug. So this particular one, we are running from an admin perspective, not from the end user perspective, okay? Just click on this debug. If at all, if it works, it provides an input, like a provide set of questions or intent, intents. You just mention what exactly you want to do what. Let us say, how do I add a non-standard laptop? Maybe based on the configuration, how you have designed your business objects and agent, it will provide the appropriate information for you. So this particular bubble, right, this will be shown only for the admin, not for the end user. As of now, it has not finished the searching. So it is validating your input, like this input and this output it is expecting. From this particular output tool, it provides output now. So this white color result is end user result. This bubble is only for the internal purpose of the agent, for the debugging purpose, for the admin who is designing it. Okay, so this is how we can run any of the agent from the agent studio. Now, let us say I was telling you another option, right? Let us allow log in with another end user, like I may be Cassie Brown. So let us click on me. And you should be able to see the other option called uh, AI chat. Now you just click on AI chat. Now, the options which you have seen in the agent studio will not be available. None of them will be available here. You just have your agent, you just run it. There is no other option you'll find here. You can't edit it. You can't publish it, right? So it shows a list of agents which are available for this particular user, right? Maybe I'll just say procurement, or maybe you can just see the, yeah, you can explore the list of agents, like it's select procurement policy advisor, same one, almost similar one. Here, if you observe, you don't find any option called publish and all those things. We just have a list of agents which are available for user. You select it and that's run it, that's it. So this is how we can run from an end user perspective from the AI chat, okay? Let us see the other one, the guided journey functionality. Here, if you observe, you don't find any bubble one. The local color bubble, you'll not find that. That was available only for the admin from the end user perspective. So I'll just close this. We'll just see the other one, the last one, the guided journey functionality, which was a very interesting one. So I'll just try to go to procurement. And for the purchase requisition ADF, if it will not work, you have to select purchase requisition, which is a visual builder or Redwood style page. So it's not, yeah, you can observe here in the self-service self -service procurement, we have an option called Ask Oracle, right? Just click on it and you can observe here, it has a similar functionality here also. You can just select appropriate question, you should be able to get the answer. So these are the three ways where you can, you know, like uh, work with the agent studio in the Oracle Fusion ERP. So in the next coming session, what we do is, we'll from the admin perspective, how do we design agents? So we'll discuss those particular things in the next coming session. For now, thank you.